All right, tell me the reconnecting story because okay. I think it was, you reached out about doing like a video together, right? Like a YouTube video? Yeah, I had seen him. Like I said, we were friends on Facebook and Twitter and that sort of thing. And so it's, you know, I got to see what some of my friends in that way have, you know, you get to see what they're up to over the years. And um, I was planning some sketches for my YouTube channel and I reached out to him because I thought it would be really fun if he played a character or two in them because I knew the, the Halloween Town fans would get a kick out of it. And um, so, yeah, I reached out and we decided to, you know, go out for dinner and kind of, you know, talk and catch up and talk about what, you know, what I wanted to do. And, and it just gradually from there, unexpectedly turned romantic. And it was like, oh, <laughs> OK. Yeah. Was there like initial spark like right there? Yes and yes, yeah, I think. I know yeah. it took me by surprise. I hadn't seen her in years. And when she reached out and they let's grab dinner and talk and everything, I'm waiting. I'm sitting at the bar waiting. And she comes walking in. I was like, well, hello there. <laughs> it's, it's been a while. Hi. You know, and then, you know, so it was pretty much just like right away. I was like, damn, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. And did you guys kind of start dating right away or was it like a friendship first? Like how did it, the evolution of this happen? It was, I mean, it was gradual, but it was also, I think we kind of both knew what was happening at the same time. Like it, um, we definitely, I think it was nice because we did know each other to a certain extent and there was that comfortability. So we kind of dove right first head first into doing some of the sketches and everything together but it also we also kind of knew that we were just getting i think closer and closer and that we were both i'm saying we i'm talking for you but like that we were <laughs> kind of you know that we were feeling more and that it was that we were just going you know that that's what was that's what was happening, I think. Yeah, what she said. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah, pretty much yeah. You know, for the future and plans ahead, I know you guys have been together for a while. Is there any pressure to have like a Halloween town themed wedding at this point? <laughs> <laughs> Not to put pressure on you. <laughs> no pressure. No, 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 no pressure at all. We're going to fly in on brooms. We're going to do the whole shebang. Huh? <laughs> I'm sure the fans would love that. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. We have never, that, that idea has never come up in our uh, discussions about life. But um, yeah, I'm sure that would be, uh, that would be art imitating, art imitating life or life imitating art. One of the yeah, two. but both. Looking at like this movie, obviously it's a huge experience for both of you. Has your relationship added even more significance to like what the movie has meant for your life like I assume obviously yes but like like how is that added to the experience even more yeah I think so I think um if it wasn't for the movie we never would have met each other and reconnected later and we wouldn't be sitting here now and you know she's a pretty awesome lady so it just it ended up working out really well but it is funny to think wow that was 20 years ago and so much life happened in between us reconnecting and everything you know with both of us and then we come back together and it really is like a high school thing, like you said, or like, I've known you since we were kids, basically, even yeah. though we weren't together that whole time, there's still that familiarity, but also the nostalgia factor of it and everything. And, it, and it's, yeah. it's, it's really cool. I like it. It is. It's, it's pretty awesome to the, the movies have definitely meant a lot to me just growing up and and um, and now that they mean a lot to other people, it makes it so much more significant. But now that there's like this aspect of our personal lives too, that has like, you know, bonded us in a different way. It definitely has made, uh, just made it that much more special. And I, I just, I just the irony too of us, I think playing um, such, you know, hardcore enemies and then mm -hmm. being, you know, quite the opposite of that in real life. but. To, I, I was surprised to hear how many fans over the years so wanted Marnie and Cal together. And I was like, guys, Marnie would never in a million years have gone on a date with Cal. Not always, not. But it's true. It's true. Like, it's true. That leather jacket. On, like, that Netflix, leather jacket. It would be like the trending topic. It would be. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Like, whatever the shit name would be. What is it? Like, Marnie and Cal. Hmm. It's actually kind of a. Cal me. Cal. Marnie. Marnie, right? Marnie. <laughs> <laughs> Marnie. 